Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, back again with the Nord Stage 2 and the new Kurzweil Forte. I want to talk about reverb and compression and EQ on each of these. Now what I really loved about the Nord Stage 2, everything was a dedicated knob or button or switch. Didn't have to go through menus or anything like that. Everything was laid out right in front of you. And the Forte is kind of like that in some respects. And in other respects, you have to go through a menu. So let me give you an example. When it comes to the three things when I'm playing piano live that I need to adjust, which is the compressor, the reverb, and the EQ, I can do the same thing here with one exception. Now, as far as the compressor on the Nord Stage 2, it's basically an on-off switch and a knob to choose how much or how little compression I want. And I've got the exact same thing over here, an on-off switch and a knob for how much compression I want. Okay? Then we go over to EQ. And as far as EQ goes, we've got low and a sweeping mid and high. So as far as EQ goes, I've got the exact same thing over here, low, a sweeping mid, and high. And I've got an on-off button to turn the EQ on or off. Now, when it comes to reverb, I've got an on and off here, I've got an on and off here. And I've got a knob to adjust how much reverb, and I've got a slider here to adjust how much reverb. But what type of reverb? Over here, I've got a switch that scrolls through six different reverb settings, stage one, stage two, room one, room two, hall one, and hall two. I don't have the equivalent over here. What I have instead, I can go into a menu and scroll over to that section and choose what type of reverb I want. Now, I can save that for whatever patch or program that I want, and I don't have to go through that in the future, but I can't change that on the fly on the Forte like I can on the Nord Stage 2. It's real easy to do that. So everything as far as EQ, compression, and reverb is identical here on both of these boards with the exception of the type of reverb. Again, I can choose that type of reverb here without going through a menu, but I need to go through a menu on the Forte to choose the type of reverb. That's the only difference. So, that may or may not be important to you. When I found, as far as this slider goes, whatever they've got the default reverb to, the amount of reverb that I adjust with the slider seems to do okay with me without going through a menu to choose what type of reverb. That pretty much works for me. It may not work for you, but it does seem to work for me. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.